now let us solve this problem show that their existential x p of x and q of x is equal to their existential x p of x and their existential x q of x this problem comes under rules of inference that is inference theory for predicate logic just like prepositional logic or statement calculus in predicate logic also we will use rule p rule t equivalent laws and implication laws and in addition to that we will use specification rules as well as generalization rules with the help of the specification rule we can remove the quantifier whereas with the help of the generalization rule we can add the quantifier we have in specification rules we have two rules rule us rule es with the help of rule us universal specification rule we can remove universal quantifier likewise with the help of the rule es existential specification we can remove existential quantifier next with the help of the rule uc we can add universal quantifier with the help of the existential generalization rule we can add existential quantifier so with the help of the specification rules we can remove the quantifier with the help of the generalization rule we can add the quantifier here this is lhs and this is rhs here we can take lhs and prove it as rhs or we can take rhs and prove it as lhs or simplify both lhs as well as rhs if we get a common value for both lhs and rhs we can say them those two are equal now in this problem we are taking lhs and proving it as the rhs okay uh, in predicate logic also just we will use uh, uh, prepositional logic uh, uh, those uh, those rules only and in addition to that we will use those rules these four rules so first premise one so here also just like uh, uh, preposition logic we will have uh, four columns first column represents premise number second column represents statement formula number third column represents uh, uh, the statement okay the premise which is given in the uh, problem or the premise which is obtained by applying some rules and the fourth column re uh, represents which rule we are applying okay so this is premise 1 and statement formula 1 introduce this premise their existential x p of x and q of x so this is nothing but rule p why because this is a new premise which is introduced in the derivation process okay next we are applying operation on this premise only next uh, statement formula number is 2 here we can't apply the formula on this premise directly so before applying the formula we have to eliminate the existential quantifier so how to eliminate the quantifier with the help of the specification law this is nothing but existential quantifier so we have to use rule es we have to use rule es on statement formula number 1 so now what will happen is this existential quantifier will be removed and in place of this x we have to replace with some other variable so let us replace with y so p of y and q of y next from p of y we can get p as the result as well as uh, i'm sorry from p of y and q of y we can get p, p of y as the result as well as from p of y and q of y we can get q of y as the result why because we have a formula called p and q implies p or p and q implies q okay so now we are applying rule t rule t rule t on the statement formula number 2 so here the formula is p and q implies p so here this is nothing but p and this is nothing but q so we will get p of y as the result so this is nothing but statement formula number 3 here we are performing operation on uh, this first premise only so next from p of y and q of y obtain q as the result q of y as the result so that means here also we are applying rule t on statement formula number this is nothing but 2 and we have a formula called p and q implies q 
implies q so now q of y is the result statement formula number means it is always in incremented fashion next this is nothing but fourth premise okay i'm sorry this is nothing but first two premise why because we are performing operation on first one only okay first two premise only this one only okay so next here we have p of y and q of y if we observe here the result is uh, their existential x p of x and their existential x q of x we have a formula called p comma q implies p and q so now we need to add the existential quantifier before this p so how to add the existential quantifier we have rule easy rule easy so apply rule easy on the statement formula number 3 on the statement formula number 3 so now we need to add uh, uh, that existential quantifier so while adding we have to replace with some other variable we should not use y so instead use x so there existential x here we are adding the existential quantifier replace y with x the existential x p of x so next statement formula number is 1 here we are performing operation on this one first premise only next likewise we add existential quantifier to q of y so again we are applying rule easy on statement formula number 4 on statement formula number 4 so there the existential x so replace this y with some other variable q of x so statement formula number is 6 premise number is 1 so now their existential x p of x let us assume this is p their existential x u of x let us assume that this is q so we have a formula called p comma q implied p and q so let us apply that formula so apply rule t formula on statement formula numbers fourth one fifth one and sixth one so fifth one and sixth one so this is fifth one and sixth one the formula is p comma q implied p and q so now what is p so p means their existential x p of x and q means their existential x q of x so this is nothing but statement formula number 7 first premise so if we observe rhs what is rhs their existential x p of x and their existential x q of x so we got rhs as the result so we can say that lhs equal to rhs so like this we can solve the problem very very easily please uh, like the video subscribe to the channel as well as uh, share the channel with your friends thanks for watching